in this case a screenshot or grabbing a video. Screaming. <laughs> Screaming at yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> it's not exactly exact And we're back with yet another Herald News Show. It's day four and we've already recorded 1.9 terabytes of raw data in the production of our little shows. We've used 23 Mate bottles as props and the amount of chunk that was consumed uh, is a state secret. And we've burned through an ins innumerable amount of personnel here. But this is not about the Herald News team. This is about bringing you the news. And um, there's one thing right at the end of this, a special, a Herald News special that we've prepared that will air right after this. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And here we go. First up, we talked to our podcast experts at the Sender Centrum about how they managed to virtualize the whole infrastructure. And we use the Sender Centrum as an example for all the other stages because this year everyone had to virtualize and become a bit more decentralized, which is actually a big task. So here we go. Hello, LC3. I'm here with Simon Dückert from Sendet Centrum. The Sendet Centrum exists since the 30th Cast Communication Congress, but not everyone might know what they actually do and who they are. What is your mission, Simon? Well, the mission of the Sendet Centrum is to be the go-to place for everybody who's enthusiastic for podcasting or audio. We provide a combination of a hack space where you can try out software, tools, hardware, and so on. We run live podcasts, uh, this year also talks. Uh, and we have a workshop room for running workshops for podcasting. Over the past years, uh, the podcast community grew and grew, and eventually the Zendet Centrum got its own stage and its own schedule. Uh, this is obviously not possible this year. What did you do instead? Well, we did something similar than uh, as the other studios. Uh, we have, of course, an, an OBS instance on a PC. But uh, for uh, podcasting, we use also other tools, uh, since audio is uh, relatively important. So we run uh, Reaper and Ultraschall, which is a specialized uh, digital audio workstation. And we use Studio Link uh, standalone to have a high quality audio connection. Then we mix that together and broadcast that via OBS to the uh, endpoints of the walk. So not everything is such so different if you're recording remotely. What is similar to the last years and what is completely different? Well, what's completely different is that everything is uh, virtual. The, the machine that we work on is virtual. Last year, we had just a table at the stage. Uh, you have one, uh, one PC on it and the crews behind, and you have the hardware mixers where you can see all the levels and, and what's happening. And we had to virtualize that. Uh, we have to run uh, virtual audio cables and virtual mixers and also have a distributed team. Uh, where, when you run a stage or a podcast table, it's always good to have a team of two or three people who are close together and see what's happening. If this team is distributed, you have to ch have a chat in the background and um, add deck numbers and so on in case of emergency. So we had to learn a lot on how to run this virtually. Very nice. So to close this out, where can people find you? How can they reach you? How can they participate in the last day and in the future when this event is done? Yeah, our program is in the far plan, uh, just the center uh, centrum stage. Uh, to get to us in the 2D world, you go up and left and right and down. Uh, but you can also just search for Sendit Centrum Assembly and we provided a direct link uh, where you can come to us. And yesterday we already talked about uh, in the community to let our part of the world, the virtual center centrum, live uh, over the RC3 so uh, that it will be provided over the next year. So perhaps there will be a link to join the virtual center centrum also after the 30s. Very nice. So not everything ends when this event ends. Right. Thank you, Simon. And back to the Herald News Show. Thanks, Stormwind and Simon, for this peek behind the scenes and the positive outlook. In general, we have seen such a great initiative from the studios and their virtualization. Working with everyone was amazing. And we as the Herald's news team should actually applaud all of you for what you've done. Wait, I think we can do something there.
Next up, 2D. Before it's gone, let's have another peek into the 2D world, which over the days of RC3 evolved more and more into a really congress location, even as I still miss the fluffy knitted handrail covers and the staircases. We've seen things you people wouldn't believe. A Windows desktop at the CERT with an any key. We watch toilets as a means of transportation and fireplaces doing the same thing at Digital Courage. We've seen sourdough at the SDHQ. We've been witness to the Waffle Operations Center. Hey, that was already up at 1240. Whatever. We watched worlds that aren't even pixel art and a civil fleet. A beautiful street map, so open. We've seen nicht vom Beckenrand springen. All those moments will be lost like tears in the rain. Or will they? Well, will those really be gone like tears in the rain? That is a very good question. But that's a question that is probably not that easy to answer because the whole Congress and the 2D world are decentralized and built and powered by a lot of different groups and people. So I suggest we keep our fingers crossed. Maybe that's a great way for us to bridge the time. All right, yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. And next up, the far plan. The next and last talk of the mainstream is the infrastructure review at 1800 on RC1 with Yusuf, followed by the official closing of RC3. But for those who cannot watch enough talks, there will be another one to watch. Watch the watchers at Car Studio Hamburg starting right now. And that was it for this time around. Thanks for tuning in, but don't switch off just yet. There's one more Herald News show, actually after the closing, so stay on after that for sure. And we have a Herald News show special for you coming up right after this. Right now, we talk to Mitch Altman. Until then, bye-bye.